Welcome to the Simple Truth Hour. My name is Pastor Samuel Somoa Asante, and we go into the Word of God which teaches us, corrects, rebukes, and instructs us in the way of righteousness, so that the child of God will be perfect, truly furnished unto every good work. Our topic for today is commitment to work. And our key scripture is John chapter 8, verse 2. And early in the morning, he came again into the temple, and all the people came to him, and he was seated, teaching them. Our Lord Jesus is a very good example of one who was very diligent with his task. The Lord has spent the whole night praying and should have been probably tired, needing some rest. He did not stay at home, but as early as practicable, he went to the temple awaiting the people. He said in John chapter 4, verse 34, my food is to do the pleasure of him who sent me and to make his work complete. Our Lord Jesus worked very hard because as a son who became a servant, he had to please the one who sent him. Two, he worked so hard because there was a time frame for him to finish the work, John 9, 4. Three, he worked so hard because he loved the father who sent him, John 8, 29, and 4. It brought him joy to work diligently. This leaves us a good example to emulate. Every servant of God must approach the work with such urgency and dedication. This is what will win the approval of God, our Father. There's going to be a day of reckoning when everyone will be rewarded for what he or she did for the Lord. Please note that God rewards us mainly on how best we followed his instruction to do the work. Secondly, he will be rewarded, will be rewarded for how sincere and how diligently we work. Then lastly, we'll be rewarded for how much we achieved for him. Apostle Paul, one who gave in everything. Apostle Paul depicts one who gave in everything to do so much for the master. He said he does not count himself to have gotten to where he must be or completed what has been given to him. But he presses on so he would attain the price of the high calling of God. Philippians 3, 13 and 14, paraphrase. He also said in 1 Corinthians 15, 10, that, but by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, by the grace of God, which was with me. Like Jesus, he gave his best. Even when he had been stoned to death and came back alive, he did not go about pitying himself or taking some time to rest. He continued to the next town to preach the word, Acts 14, 19 to 22. At the end of his mission, he said in 2 Timothy 4, 7, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. We finished the task. That is the cream of the work. Finishing your assignment. Amen. Now confession. I am committed to the task my heavenly father assigned to me. Nothing shall stop me from giving my best and serving with a sincere heart. I will finish my course with gladness and will receive my crown of righteousness. Amen. Now thought, we must serve to please our master by completing the task he gave us. We must serve to please our master by completing the task he gave us. Further study, John 9, 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day, the night cometh, when no man can work. Second Timothy 4, 8. Henceforth, 
has laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love is appearing. Amen.